As I was editing today's video, I started to wonder how old really is too old for surgery. And although it's not an answer you should look to YouTube for, it is a, an, a conversation to happen between the patient, the family, the surgeon, and the primary care provider, it definitely is something to think about. My criteria when I'm looking for whether a patient will heal from the surgery is do they, number one, have enough circulation in their feet? And number two, do they have support at home to help them get to and from the bathroom or go get a new ice pack? And so it's a very individualized decision to make. And I think it's there is no clear-cut answer as you'll hear this patient talk about. So enjoy the video and just a little bit of food for thought. So it's your right hip? 20, 28th of April. Okay, and are they going to be putting in a total new hip? Yeah. Okay. And how old are you? 95. Okay. I'll be 96 in August. No, I understand your reluctance to do it just because of age. Yeah. But if you've got no quality of life and you can't walk because it hurts too much. Yeah. It's, a, it's a tough call. And I had a good life. I mean, if something happens, it happens. You know, it's just, I'm... That's a good attitude. Um, most people do really well. Are they going to do it with a spinal or with a general? Do you I, know? They're, they're determining that. Okay. I have to go in and have my pacemaker checked and I don't know what they decide. Okay. I mean, listen, if, if I still have all my marbles at 95 or 96 like you, <laughs> I think I'd be happy to keep going. Well, it just, I, but you know, an anesthetic can take that right. away from you, and that's what scares me. Right, which is why oftentimes they'll do a spinal a anesthesia spinal. so right. they don't have to use general. Yeah. I had general here because I, you know. For your knees? No, when I broke my hip. Oh, okay. In last August. So how have you been? Same old, same old. Same old, same old. Living the dream, as we say. Doug's been falling all the time. He's falling every day for the last four days. This is your husband? No, or Doug that comes in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Why is he falling? I don't know. Is he losing consciousness? No, no. Just, he just has a hard time. No, he's, he's just a good friend. I mean, he is a good You don't have to qualify it. I have a gentleman who moved here from Florida in his 90s, and he's already got a lady friend. Well, it's... No, I know. I'm just kidding with you, but... It's fine to... I mean, you know... I mean, he's a, a trumper, for one thing, and... Ah. Uh, I mean, there's so many things. <laughs> right, but... Okay, relax your foot here for a second. There you go. So that would be one subject Ooh. you would stay away from. Ooh, golly. Sorry. Okay, got it. Because I know that you're the opposite of a trumper. The what? That you're the opposite of a trumper. <laughs> okay.
Did I forget to trim that one? You, you, I don't think you did this one. No, I did. I trimmed did everything. You? This just looks longer than I would normally leave it. So your kid's going to be here when you have the surgery? Well, um, he is coming a, a few days after I have surgery, and she's going to stay with me for two weeks. Good, okay. And then is coming after that, and I don't know how long she's going to stay. Now, one of your girls, if I remember correctly, you told me is it was a staffer at one of the Democratic presidents' White Houses, right? Yeah, right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll edit her name out because we don't need anything to identify you or her. Yeah, that's why your political lean. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's my wheeler and dealer. <laughs> and where does she live? In Washington. Well, I will think good thoughts for you on that day. Thank you, Judy. And um, I'm sure it's going to go just fine. You know, they know all the precautions to take, and... And, you know, my experience is people do really well with the hips, and they recover much more quickly than with the knees. Oh, yeah. My, my daughter that lives here uh -huh. had knee surgery, and she's recuperating from that. Yeah, and that's and a much tougher recovery, it seems. That's much tougher surgery. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I want to put this in, this one. Okay. Uh, I have to look at YouTube. Huh? For, oh. And see my feet. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for letting us do the video. Oh, you're very welcome.